To open MeasureX, click the icon on your taskbar or desktop. Once MeasureX is loaded, check that the number at the end of your device name, located in the device dropdown, matches the number located on your sensor. Here, we see 5555. This would also be the number located on our sensor. To record our first session, click the red record button. You may see this device initialization error. This means that the device was either not plugged in properly, or it's in a different USB from last time. Click the yes button. Clicking the Find Port button will automatically scan the USB ports and find the device. If the device is not properly plugged into the computer, you'll receive an error saying that there is no device. If you receive this error, make sure that the USB cable is properly plugged into both your computer and the sensor. Once you've ensured that the device is properly plugged in, click Find Port again and we see it scan and update the port information. Once you're done, click OK. Now that we've got the proper port, we can go back to the red button and click Record. When we click Record, we see that the sensor starts streaming the data instantly. To stop recording, simply click the blue End Recording button. To save the session, navigate to the center of the screen to the Save button and click it. You can name your session however you'd like. I'm going to name this session Patient ABC Cushion 6. After I've named my session, I can click Save. To open a session, click the Open button next to the Save button. Here we've seen previous sessions I've recorded, and I'm going to open Cushion 4. I select the session and click Open. I can also open another session. Let's do this Patient XYZ Cushion 4 as well. To switch between sessions, use the Session drop-down list. If you have a session you'd like to create a report of, click the Print button located at the top of the screen. Here you can enter a name for this report. It can either be the patient name, number, or any other information, or you can leave it blank. Here, I will just put XYZ as a demo. After I've entered the name, I click Print. On the report, you can see the name, the date and time the report was generated, the values associated with each area of color, statistical information from the session, as well as notes from our session. To print this report, we can click the Print button. This will load your normal print form in which you can choose one of the printers installed on your computer to print out the report. You can also save the report as a PDF by clicking the Export icon, clicking PDF, and naming the session accordingly. Here we'll call this Patient XYZ Cushion 4 Session 2. Click Save, and this report is now saved as a PDF which you can print, email, or upload. Once you're done printing or exporting your report, click the red X at the top right of the screen. Let's go over the windows available to you in Measure X. First we have the 2D window. This is a two-dimensional view of your pressure map. This window also has extra features such as cell values, which shows you the value for each individual sensor, the grid button, which turns on and off the grid, the center of pressure indicator, which shows you where the center of pressure is located, and also the quadrants view, which shows you the distribution of the pressure between the four quadrants. We also have the 3D window. The 3D window shows you the pressure mapping in three dimensions. You can change the view of the 3D window by clicking on the image, holding it down, and dragging it across the screen.
The next window we'll go over is the pressure distribution chart. Here we see that that displays a histogram based on the pressure readings from your session. Next, we have the charts window. The charts window will show you the average pressure throughout the session on a timetable. You can zoom in and zoom out on the charts window by right clicking and clicking zoom in or right clicking and clicking zoom out. Now that we have all of these windows open, you can see that they're quite unorganized and hard to use. Luckily, MeasureX has an Arrange Windows button located at the far right of the View toolbar that will arrange all the windows that you have open according to the space allotted. Now I will close a couple of the windows and click the Arrange Windows icon again. There are multiple ways you can navigate throughout a session. The first being the navigation bar. Clicking the navigation bar loads a bar at the bottom for which you can use to scroll back and forth through the session. Here I put my mouse on the tracker and use it to go back and forth in the session. You can also go back and forth in the session by dragging on the charts window. Another way to navigate the session is by using the playback buttons located at the top. For instance, the play button plays the session as it was recorded. Click stop to stop the playback. You can also use these buttons to step frame by frame through the session. Using the session browser, we can see that we are given a bird's eye view of the session. By nature, it displays every single frame from the session. However, you can choose to see every second frame, fifth frame, tenth frame, and so on using the scale at the bottom of the screen. You can see the changes in the pressure recording from this bird's eye view. To go to a specific frame in the session, double click the frame you would like to see. MeasureX will load that frame once you exit out of that window. To record a session using video, let's open up our video window and click the Arrange Windows button. Let's also make sure that our webcam is configured. Make sure your webcam is configured by going to Device, Video Source, and seeing the check mark next to your camera. If there is no check mark next to the camera you'd like to use, continue on to Configure Frame Rate and select an appropriate frame rate. Most cameras do fine at 30 frames per second. Once we've ensured that it's configured properly, we can click the webcam icon to record video. Once we've selected the webcam video and we click record, we see that the video will stream along with the pressure data coming from the sensor. To end recording, click stop. And to save the session, click save. Name the session accordingly. Click Save and save the session. Now that we've recorded video, MeasureX will also ask us if we'd like to save it. If you'd like to save the video, click Yes. If not, click No. Here we'll click Yes. Now every time we go to open this session, the video will also load with it. Once you're done using MeasureX, you can go ahead to the top right of the screen and click the red X. If there are any unsaved sessions, MeasureX will ask you if you want to save them. If you'd like to save them, click yes. If not, click no.